Volume. This is that uh, gas powered post driver I was using. Maybe I'll read that. Extreme Power uh, US Series 81010 XP. Um, two stroke. That's the unit. The one thing I don't like about it is there's a sight glass here and on the internet it says first thing fill it full of oil because it will be empty and sure enough it was just 80 90 weight the manual shows a fill port here but there isn't one so you got to take out the sight glass and fill there uh, this is your throttle over here. This is your throttle lock. You can adjust it so it's not all the way up. If you got sandy soil, you don't need it. If you got red clay and rock like I do, sandstone, you need it. But the sucker weighs over 45 pounds. Best thing I found was using old school T-post driver to get them started about six inches when it starts getting hard Then you saw me in the front end loader bucket uh, try to get this thing so it's No more than chest high To get it up over the post Now if you're a young man, you could probably do it, but I'm not I turn 60 tomorrow And uh, a Lot of work, but It saves a lot of work I mean, a whole lot of work. I'd still be pounding post with that manual driver because of all the rock uh, and the hard clay. Uh, 300 and something dollars on Amazon. They have a lighter model, but I went with this heavier one because I knew I had to bust through rock to get these T-posts in the ground. And sure enough, when I was putting them in manually, I could hear or I could feel the rock when the T-post hit it, when I struck with the manual driver, I could feel the vibration in my feet. So I definitely had to pound through a bunch of rock and this thing just pounded right through it. So, I think it's worth the money. Uh, if you're a young man, you could probably just pick it up, put it on the post and knock it on in. But it weighs about 45 pounds. No, it is not a light machine. So, that's all for this one. Thank you.